welcome back to my channel. I'm Ginny Mae, the Intergalactic Supreme Goddess of Guest Service, and today we are going to open up a bottle of champagne. I would love to show you how I opened up a bottle of champagne. I had a video before where we talked about how I open up a bottle of wine, and it's the same thing as I discussed before, and that is that everyone kind of opens up a bottle of champagne differently. And I have seen it many different ways. I've had many friends that were summer late and they showed me their ways. And I want to show you today my favorite way to open up a bottle of champagne. So I have this bottle of champagne. It was a gift to me. It's Velcle Co. And if you know the story about it, that is called The Widow. It is a champagne. It is from France. And I know that champagnes only come from Champagne, France. Otherwise, it's called a sparkling wine. And a lot of countries have their own names for sparkling wines as well. But let's work with this bottle. So for example, if your guests order a bottle of champagne, then you're gonna end up going to the bar or wherever to go get it. I would bring it down and then I would show them the bottle just to make sure that it is the right one. And I'm kind of reading upside down here. I'm like, we have a wonderful bottle of champagne. It's one of my favorites, you can add that in. It's a Belgico, and that actually means the widower. I love when there's different stories. You, there's different stories about beers and food and everything. Learn some of those stories, or a lot of them actually, so that when you're talking about whatever your product is, you can add that little story in there. It just makes so much difference. It just seems like you care, and it's more passionate, right? So we have Belgico, and it's a, it's a fruit. I love the color on the bottle too. Yes, and they like it, and it is the one that they ordered, so let's start to open it. One thing we need to remember is that there is a pressured cork in here, and I have opened up several bottles of champagne in my life where the cork ended up popping out while I was trying to open it before I wanted it to pop out. And that could actually shoot someone's eye out. Or I've had it before where it ended up and shot down a light uh, in the restaurant and broke it. So we want to make sure that does not happen. The first thing we want to do, and this is real sealed up, but I have a little uh, metal twisty circle in here and I'm going to try to find that circle and grab it and pull it out here. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to keep my thumb on top. I'm going to, at all times, whatever I can, try to keep this label towards my guests so they can see, but sometimes we might have to shift it around because, yeah, we can't always decide where that little circle thing is. So I have this little handle circle. And the first thing I'm going to do is just tear all this paper off. And I know you can't have your thumb down all the time, but as much as possible. And you know what? This is real life. Sometimes you do fumble with it. I'm going to keep all this paper and put it in my pocket. I have the thumb, my thumb on here, and I'm just going to untwist and untwist and untwist and untwist. In until I can get it off. It's all right to use the table for leverage a little bit. So I'm going to get that off. Again, I'm going to put my thumb there just in case. You know, I have seen something really cool with this. You can YouTube it or find out wherever, but you can make this look like a little chair and people collect this. This one's really cute because it has a cute top on it. But anyway, if it's a nice looking one, you can set it on the table, but if not, you know, just put it in your pocket. And then from different from a wine bottle or anything else, you're going to grab the bottom of it and hold on to the cork part and you're going to twist the bottom of the bottle just slightly. And I know that you have seen in movies or wherever where they shake the bottle, it's like bam, pop, and then all of a sudden half the champagne ends up on the floor or all over the person or wherever. Hey, that's great if that is your goal, but in the restaurant it's not. Especially if it's an expensive bottle of champagne, you don't want to waste one drop. So when you open it up, you're going to twist the bottle until you can feel that cork popping up and then listen. Woo, just a little bit, there's some smoke. Hopefully I will send you good vibes, that champagne doesn't come out. Now, we come to the next part, pouring. There's two different ways to pour. One is that your glass is totally on the table flat, and you can use two hands if you're a girl with small fingers, otherwise you can use one if you're a gentleman and you can handle the bottle just like that. And I would just pour gently. To me, a perfect pour for champagne is just about 75% full. Now, the other way, which I also very much like, especially if it is kind of a nicer champagne, is to tilt the glass while you pour. And the difference is, is that you don't lose all the bubbles. 
plus you can end up pouring it up a little bit quicker and see it gets just a little bit of head when you end up doing that. Of course it disappears but as you can see there's a little bit more bubbles in this one as there was in this one and with all champagne you should have a champagne cooler maybe you have a little towelette or something on the side ask your manager or find out in your restaurant how that should be served and of course there's ice or some type of cooler down there that you can put it in and then you serve it to your guests and you say enjoy and remember if it's a celebration or a birthday something remember to congratulate them on that as well my advice to you is hey new year's is coming up in a month or so a couple months actually so when it gets to that time, even if it's a kid champagne or whatever, you know, practice this so you feel comfortable opening champagne up for your guests when you're at work. Otherwise, you know what? Cheers! And let's go out there and give amazing service. I'm Ginny May, the Intergalactic Supreme Goddess of Guest Service, and thank you so much for watching my video. If you would like more tips and tricks on service, how to up your service game, click here. And please subscribe by pressing my face right here. And don't forget to ring the bell so that you get a new video notification every Waiters Weekend. Follow me on Instagram, 